Hey guys, so today I'm going to walk you through me creating a logo for a client. So this is actually a logo for a vegan candle company. Um, and these are the images that the client sent through that she liked the look of. So I kind of use these as my inspiration. So I mainly use Procreate and Illustrator. So what I do is open a Procreate file and I'll put the inspiration images in there and then sketch. So this is just in place of me sketching on a piece of paper, more eco-friendly, I guess, which is kind of in theme with the brief. And I'm just kind of doodling some ideas, duplicating things and giving it a little go. So for this, I'm using my iPad Pro and Procreate. I will link everything that I use down below. It actually has a really cool new update where it creates shapes for you. So I drew a circle and then press and hold onto the screen and it made it a perfect circle. So yeah, I utilize this a lot for this drawing. As I was going along, I realized that the flame of the candle could look quite like a leaf, which fit in with the eco-friendly status of my clients brand and I thought it would look quite cool so that's where I kind of adapted the leaf idea I used a flame of a candle and made it look like a leaf so I was kind of playing around with some different layouts and then I took it into Photoshop so I use the most recent Photoshop I've got a creative cloud subscription um and here not even Photoshop what am I talking about I'm using Illustrator um and then basically I bring in the Procreate drawing and trace it but digitally so I'm using the pen tool and the different shapes and I'm clicking and dragging to create curves um, if you'd like me to do a more like in-depth tutorial on how to use the pen tool let me know because it is kind of hard to get the hang of I hated it at first but now it's just kind of like second nature and I realized after drawing this flame that I couldn't get the shape right so I actually borrowed one from Google and traced it and then made it my own which is absolutely fine as long as you don't completely copy it because that is definitely like copyright plagiarism whatever you want to call it so yeah I just kind of got the silhouette of the flame and then made it my own I used the shape builders tool to join it together and yeah that was kind of the basic flame so once I had a flame I liked I usually make a new artboard and then drag it over so this is where I'm developing it out of those sketches I picked the one I liked the most and made it so here I'm just going to pick some fonts play around with the positioning using the align tool and kind of figuring out the basic idea of this one with like the leaf flame <laughs> So now I'm doing the lines, which are like the stems of the leaf, I guess. Has that got a name? I don't know what that's called, but I'm using the line tool, making the thickness and rounding the ends. And then um, what I'm gonna do is basically use it like a stencil and chop it out of the flame itself, which you will hopefully see in a minute. Um, I feel like it's really hard to explain, but you'll see that I click up on object and I'm gonna go down to path and outline stroke. So it's made those lines into actual solid shapes. You'll see that they're outlined in blue and then I make them into a flat shape with that button there. And now it's all one shape. So all the black section is now joined and I'm clicking that little button down there and it cuts it out basically like a cookie cutter. Um, and there you can kind of see the basic idea. I actually copied this before I did it So I had another version of it and now I'm just playing around with the different stroke styles So in the stroke menu on the right, there's different Options as you can see you can have like beveled and different shapes and stuff So I was just playing around with this to make it look a little bit more natural rather than kind of Digital robotic I guess and then again, I did the same thing I went up to object made them into a shape and cut them out so now I'm using these little stars that I drew with the pen tool and I'm just kind of dotting them around. If you remember one of the photos from the inspiration page, one of them had little stars and it looked quite simple but classy and cute at the same time. So that's where I went with that. So here I'm just playing around with the circle arrangements that I drew and basically just digitizing the sketches. Um, this one wasn't catching my eye as much. I was trying to work out how to incorporate the leaf and then I was playing with the width of the text and the gaps in between the letters. And you can see that there's a lot of different versions of it. And then I kept going back to the leaf with the stars on. So eventually I chose to use the leaf and stars and I decided to do two different arrangements to send to the client. So the one on the left is the one that you've seen. And then this one is a one that I put in a little square box and just kind of played with the arrangement to see what the client thought. So 
yeah I just kind of did a few different arrangements as you can see I tried to put it on top of the box so it looked like an actual candle tried to change the opacity but I thought that looked a bit naff so yeah I ended up with those top two so now I'm using a mock-up which I just found online if you ever want a mock-up just search PSD mock-ups in Google and you'll usually find some free ones um, so I created a pattern for my mock-up so the box on the left at the top is the pattern of the leaves again I can do a tutorial on creating patterns if you would like let me know and then I'm just dragging in the two variations of the logo that I created after exporting them I did use Photoshop in this tutorial I knew I did that's why I kept saying Photoshop earlier so now I have two mock-ups of the logos in use and I kind of presented it nicely and sent it to the client so she really liked the one on the left which was the one that I was drawn to as well so again I made a new artboard and sent that over there and we were just playing around with the different colours she asked for pinks, purples, blues so I worked at the colours she also asked for a few different fonts um, and it's just all about kind of personal taste so I did quite a few different like arrangements and sent them back to the client to see what she thought And here I'm going to change the fonts. So I wanted to stick with kind of a simple font. I didn't want any script writing. And I know the client quite liked the idea of it looking professional. So I stuck with kind of simple fonts and sent this over to the client again. So then I got another round of feedback. I do find that the thing that takes the most time with logo design is like awaiting feedback in between. Um, but I do really enjoy the process of going back and forth. So my client chose a font she preferred and then we went back to the colour options. She asked for a gradient of some sort on the leaf and really liked pink, purples, greens, things like that. So again, I'm kind of picking up from the colours I did in the top row and making them a bit gradient Tud, is that a word <laughs> just to kind of get a little bit more variation and we were getting closer to what the client liked we were just trying to find that sweet spot so then again I sent the new colors over to the client and she really liked the far right one so the one that was like pink and purple but asked for the stars to be a different color so i worked on a few different color greens for the stars we opted for a green i think in the end like here i'm using yellow green purple i used all the colors and then in the end we opted for a green shade to just kind of nod towards the eco status of the brand so this is the finished logo um i thought i'd show you the file structure that I used so I sent the client the zip file and then I have four different versions of the logo I have a white a gray a black and then full color just because it's quite useful for the client to have different versions of it so yeah this is the final one in a mock-up version the client was super super happy with it and yeah very happy with this I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's anything within this video that you'd like me to go into more depth with and I can make a whole standalone video by the way if you aren't already signed up to my website please do there's exciting things coming including freebies and exclusive content so i will leave the link on screen and in the description so make sure you sign up um, and you'll be the first to know so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon for another video bye <laughs>